All right, welcome back to another video by Firestarter Graphics and Engineering. Today we're going to be discussing how to transition from Onzel Engineering Suite to FreeCAD 1.0 RC2 version. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, sadly, Onzel is closing down. So the two years they've been open and doing a ton of development for FreeCAD, it's now time for them to push that back into FreeCAD, which they have been doing. So that is what FreeCAD 1.0 is all about, is all the new features from Onzel as well as the FreeCAD community. So it will not contain Onzel Lens, so you'll have to find ways to share your step files with people who do not have any CAD software. Um, 3dviewer.net has ways of doing this. But uh, today we're just going to discuss a few things to transition over. So first of all, you want to get the most current release candidate. So if you go to Google and type in uh, FreeCAD Weekly Builds, it's going to take you to this FreeCAD, FreeCAD bundle under GitHub. You'll see this 1.0 release candidate 2. This is the current one that came out in September. And now they're adding to it each week. It's called a weekly build. Do not click on this one. You can if you want to install the older version of this but you want to scroll down until you see weekly builds. Click it and then you're going to download if you're running Windows this top version. Okay once it's installed it's actually going to actually it's not installed sorry once you've downloaded it it's going to download this zipped folder. You're going to unzip that folder into its own folder if that makes sense and then when you open that unzipped folder you'll see these six folders. All you have to do is go to bin, hit um, F and find this FreeCAD application and you're going to double click it to run it. It does not need to be installed. That's the beauty of weekly builds. They do not need to be installed. They can just run right out of the folder. So once it's open it is not going to look like this. This is what I've done to my FreeCAD to make it more of what I'm used to with Onzel. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is it's going to ask a few questions. Do you want to use FreeCAD light or dark? Pick either one at the moment because we're going to change all that. And then just open an empty file so that we can at least get to edit and then go to preferences. I lied. We need to go to Tools, Add-on Manager, and make sure your filter you've set to any, any, and then in Search, you're going to type in Open, and you're going to find this Open theme, and you're going to install it. And once it's installed, hit Close. It's probably going to ask to restart FreeCAD. That's completely fine. Once FreeCAD's open again, go to Edit, Preferences, and we're going to change a few things. First thing we're going to do is underneath Part Design and Part go to shape appearance change your line color from its current white gray down to this darker gray and then hit OK and that way it makes it a little bit less high contrast and x-ray type looking it gives it more of a um, better fill don't hit let's see you can hit apply but don't hit OK yet then you're gonna go to general general and you're going to come down here and apply the open themes you're gonna hit apply and that's probably gonna ask to restart if it doesn't then don't worry about it and if it does restart then go back into preferences go back to general and switch this to open dark okay now hit apply hit OK again it's probably gonna ask to restart let it restart go back into preferences and then we want to go down to display and navigation underneath navigation cube we want to change this from top right down to bottom left navigation style stick to however you like it this is my settings blender um, la -di -da -di -da, you can read all those and then what I do is I go to workbenches because I do not like the tabs across my screen and I switch it to combo box and then let's go back to general oh yeah tree view and property view set this to independent 
by default it's set to combo box. Now I like the combo view, I really do. Now let me show you what that I mean by that. This on the right hand side is a combo view between tasks and property. This I like for tasks and property. For my tree view I like the transparent and I like it this way. As of right now when you've changed those settings and it's, the color scheme has been applied and everything, we have to adjust the windows now to the way that you like it. So all I did was drag my task pane to the right and my property pane to the right and I turned off toggle overlay by clicking this on both tasks and property view and then you're able to just drag one into the other and it will create because as soon as you turn off overlay view it creates this line and then you can turn off overlay view in the property view and drag it into this task box and that's the way I like mine set up now you can I'm not showing how to do this because everyone is different and wants to change their windows any way you like so now I will say that as soon as you turn the tabs off for workbenches it will not be aligned to the left it may be but what you have to do is right click turn off lock toolbars and adjust things the way you want then right click relock toolbars now I'm going to pause the video and then open up FreeCAD to show a few things that I turned off to make life a little easier okay now that I'm back I have an empty parametric part so part design and I'm gonna create a new sketch okay so I'm gonna pick I don't know let's just pick the base plane okay I like having a grid on and by default for whatever reason it's always turned off so if you come up to here you're gonna see this toggle grid that way it's not for snapping points I just visually I like it all right let's draw an arc if I click here and then I'm gonna come up here and then draw an arc you're probably gonna notice that it's gonna put this green line across right here I don't like that so I think it's under whoops it's under sketch and sketch your tools I want to say or sketch or visual that's what it was show hide circular help arcs okay I turn mine off I do not like it on it drives me crazy okay so now that that's taken care of the other thing I like to do is come over here to your constraints go to settings auto remove a redundance make sure that is checked if not you'll have redundant constraints that won't automatically be removed so those two things I always put on I do like turning off and on constraints so I don't have these little things always floating around especially with dimensions so I'm gonna go ahead close that close this don't need to worry about anything so that's how I transition from Onzel to FreeCAD installing the CFD OF workbench and all the other workbenches is exactly the same you can follow my Onzel videos and it'll work just fine in FreeCAD. It'll even work just fine in 0.21.2. You just won't have on-the-fly dimensioning like you do in Onzel. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope this video helps. So it's too bad that Onzel shut down, but I understand. But at least we have FreeCAD and all the same stuff. So anyways, thank you for watching.